in fact today, thanks to a large extent digitalization, uh, only 6% of the transactions we do as a bank are done in the, the branches. Welcome to the Bankers Masterclass Series in association with Casha Bank on best practices in digitalization. We are filming on location in Barcelona at Casha Bank's headquarters. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Gonzalo Gortothar, Chief Executive Officer at Casha Bank, to discuss how digital transformation will help make a bank better and deliver better on its customer service. Gonzalo, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. So a number of banks have been on this digital transformation journey for a few years, and some banks, like Casha Bank, have launched uh, digital banks sort of to help them along. But what would you say, really, um, are the main aims for this digital transformation for banks? Well, I would say, in uh, summary, the main aim uh, really is to um, ensure the sustainability of our business model. If uh, we were not to transform ourselves, our business model will not be sustainable in a relatively short period of, uh, of a few years. So digitalization means for us first interacting with our clients in a different manner, uh, n not only through branches but through a seamless uh, sort of collection of, uh, of channels, including digital. This is critical. We need to interact with our clients. Second, digitalization means making us more efficient, uh, making uh, us uh, working on a, on a better way which saves costs and uh, obviously uh, also provides us with more information, more data on our customers. And then finally digitalization also means that we can now offer a different set of uh, products and services, a broader one. Uh, we can really have more to offer to our clients. So how can banks really use technology to one, drive down the cost to serve but also improve customer experience? Well, I would say it's actually very complementary. Uh, there's no trade-off between costs uh, and uh, customer experience, quite the opposite. As long as we provide our clients with the best possible digital experience, uh, they are increasingly going to look to the uh, mobile or, or web channels to do their transactions. That uh, obviously reduces the burden of transactions in, in our branches. It frees up uh, time and uh, it allows our people to actually focus on more value-added uh, stuff like uh, uh, providing solutions for customer inquiries, fin providing financial advice, bringing new um, ideas to clients, etc., etc. In fact, today, thanks to a large extent digitalization, uh, only 6% of the transactions we do as a bank are done in the, the branches, and the rest is uh, through automated channels. I guess the thing about digital, though, is that some may fear that they're sort of losing that personal touch with the customer. Um, how can digital actually improve that sort of customer intimacy? Well, it should if we do it properly. And, uh, first, uh, digital allows us to have more exposure with clients. Clients and a good proportion of our clients is, will connect once or twice a day with us. So we have more touch points. We should have a better experience. Second, uh, digital allows us to personalize our customer offering uh, in a much more precise way. Uh, we can provide uh, personalized financial planning, uh, we can provide um, uh, targeted uh, digital marketing to our clients, suggest uh, obviously products and services that uh, fit uh, their needs in a fairly natural, uh, natural way. All this is positive for customer intimacy, but we think you need to add a third element onto it, which is the human one. Uh, we'd like our clients to have uh, client manager, a uh, relationship manager. Uh, clients uh, tend to uh, score us very highly when they have the appropriate personal uh, reference point within the bank, even though they may be fundamentally digital and behave digitally, they would always want to have also a touch point that is physical. Integrating that uh, in the right manner, and we do it, for instance, through uh, the wall in which uh, clearly our clients that are uh, navigating through our uh, services in, uh, uh, in the uh, web page or um, uh, through their mobile, they can actually uh, ask immediately to be uh, in touch with their um, client manager and make sure that uh, the intimacy is not replaced uh, because the human touch disappears completely. So what do you think that the end of the digital transformation journey will look like? 
That's a pretty good question and a very difficult answer. In fact, I don't know if it will end up uh, in a way uh, it's a moving target. If we look at what has happened in the last five, ten years and you project it forwards, the only thing I know is there will be significant change. But I have to say I don't know exactly the final picture, neither the time in which this final picture will be final and if it will ever be final or will continue to change. One thing I know uh, or w one thing I believe is uh, that this final picture, the end of this journey, is going to have obviously machines and digital as a key ingredient, but also humans. And that uh, the winners are going to combine both uh, and put technology at the service of people that will be much more effective because they will have much more uh, powerful tools. Uh, digital uh, is increasingly going mobile and uh, as long as that platform doesn't change, we think the future will be fundamentally uh, mobile in terms of interactions. Voice will play a key role in terms of interacting uh, with uh, with the mobile uh, mobile platform. Uh, certainly, uh, people will be critical, and for many years, I think they will tend to organize themselves in branches, which will be centers of excellence, where we have people being able to provide advice to clients and obviously to solve client problems. Uh, this is uh, at least how I see it in terms of some of the key uh, ingredients, human and digital together. And certainly when I look at it from the point of view of, uh, of our bank, I think we, as an incumbent bank, we have the uh, clients with us, we have the reputation with us, we have the broad, very broad offering uh, of, uh, of financial uh, services, we have the data from clients. If we work uh, in an agile way and we continue to adapt ourselves and we keep our very talented team evolving towards value add versus transactional banking will certainly be part of that journey up until the end. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights, Gonzalo. Thank you. Uh, it's my pleasure as always.